Do you manage large and complex projects for your business or family? Do you dream of keeping those projects perfectly organized but find them getting derailed in unforeseen circumstances? If so, then this video is for you. By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to build custom AI tools to manage any project. These tools will allow you to easily adapt to extreme project shifts, maximize limited resources, and effortlessly communicate with everyone involved. What I'm about to show you has helped me take on much more ambitious projects with smaller teams than I ever could in the past. In turn, this has helped me generate more revenue and profit than ever before. The age of AI is here and what was an interesting toy just a few months ago is now making dramatic improvements in both my personal and work life. I'm really excited to share all of this with you today. Here are the four major areas of effective project management. First, the initiation and planning stage setting clear objectives and SMART, smart goals, then detailed planning, building these work breakdown structure documents and Gantt charts. We're gonna talk a lot about Gantt charts and how you can plug in the outputs of your AI into the project management tools that you're already using. Then getting into execution and control. So resource management, managing your team, resources, time, budget, etc. Quality control is under that execution and control section as well. Test and reviews. This also includes monitoring and reporting of KPIs and most importantly adaptability which we're going to be focusing on today adjusting to changes and getting into the closing and evaluation where we look at our project and evaluate it review the lessons we've learned and throughout the project life cycle there's a few things we need to be focused on most importantly probably is the stakeholder engagement so communicating effectively to the various stakeholders of what's going on and how the project's changing as well as our risk management so continuously looking at what might be going wrong and how we can adjust for it so there are a lot of ways to use large language models to create smart goals and figure out the objectives of your project but I've found that this prompt in particular can be a great starting place. This is my pre-mortem prompt. So it says below is some information about a project I'm working on. Please conduct a pre-mortem imagining the project has failed and analyzing the potential causes to help me identify common failure points based on similar projects and help me predict potential risks based on current data. So starting here, you can look at what are the areas that are going to be the hardest parts of your project, the heaviest lifts. I think that can be a great way to kick off a project. Once you've created your SMART goals, it's time to start the planning phase. And this uh, framework for building a work breakdown structure has been very helpful for me. I'm jumping into the cheat sheet here. And if you've watched my other videos, you know that I create a cheat sheet for every video. These are all immediately accessible to anyone who supports me on Patreon. Patreon. There's a link in the description if you want to join Patreon and follow along. Otherwise, I'll just be sharing my screen here and showing you how I can copy and paste these directly into the large language models to manage our projects. The first prompt we're going to be using here is given the scope of the project objectives, generate a work breakdown structure, WBS, that decomposes our project into manageable tasks and subtasks. We're going to be using Claude today. If you're unfamiliar with Claude AI, this is currently the most powerful large language model out there. This 3.5 Sonnet is the leading large language model. And it also has a few bells and whistles that the other large language models don't have. It has projects and artifacts, which are fairly new and really helpful for project management. Again, if you've never used Claude, just go to Claude.ai. And one thing you're going to want to do is make sure you turn on the artifacts feature. And the way you do that is by clicking on your name here at the bottom and then feature preview and you can turn on artifacts here. Very powerful, we're gonna get into exactly why we're doing that very shortly here. So now I'm just gonna copy and paste that prompt straight out of the cheat sheet and into Claude, along with some rough notes about the project that we're planning on managing. The example today, we're gonna be managing a project of a large community event. So the stakeholders are gonna be local government, local businesses, local uh, vendors, and obviously the community, etc. So here are some rough notes about this uh, festival. You can see there's not really a planned date. There's just a, a few ideas here. So we're starting from a very rough idea and we're gonna shape this into a perfect project here. So I'm just gonna run this prompt inside of Claude now. And now it is generating this artifact, which is really helpful 
to see the things here on the left are is our communication with the large language model and on the right are the assets that we are building and it is breaking apart all of the different potential phases for this project. Now I'm following it up with this prompt, refine this WBS and ensure that each task is clearly defined and has a logical sequence, including estimated durations. Now getting a little more granular with it. Obviously, if you need to adjust anything that it's created initially, you do that now. But let's see what it says when we ask it to basically add some dates and some extra information here. It's updating a new artifact now with durations. It has built out a lot of great stuff here. Project initiation, event planning, marketing, entertainment activities. Goes through a total of nine steps here for this project that I think nails it pretty well with a lot of things I never would have thought of. I'm going to ask it to identify any dependencies or relationships between these tasks so we can see how these different sections are related. This is going to be very helpful when we get to the Gantt chart. This third planning prompt is very simple. Just identify any dependencies or relationships between the tasks in the WBS. Fantastic. And now it has updated the artifact to include these different dependencies. And you can see here at the bottom, we can easily scroll through the different versions of this WBS to make sure we're not missing anything, but also to um, just refer back to what we've done so far. And now we're going to take this WBS and turn it into a Gantt chart so we can visually see what's going on here. I found this really cool tool, free online Gantt chart tool. Here's what that looks like. And this is a free way to view your Gantt chart. But you can also prompt Claude to format your Gantt chart to be used with whatever project management system you might already be using. That might be Monday or any number of project management tools out there. Now I've downloaded an example file from this Gantt chart software here that I'm going to use as an example formatting file for Claude. I have a link to that available to any Patreon supporters as well. So here's how this works. Once we finalize the main details of the plan in that WBS document, as we've just done, we're going to upload this Gantt uh, example CSV. Then we're going to ask Claude, please create a Gantt chart from this WBS in the format of the attached example. Just copying and pasting this in and I'm attaching that example. Now it's creating a new artifact that we'll be able to use as a Gantt chart. I'm going to download it using this button at the bottom right. And then this is a little bit tricky, but you want to make sure that that file you download ends in CSV. That's the only way it's going to be recognized by this tool. I'm importing it as an Excel file. And now we can see a full Gantt chart of our event. So in just a couple quick prompts, we have gone from basic notes to a detailed project plan and a Gantt chart that clearly maps out how this big event is going to unfold. Pretty awesome. Now we're moving on to stakeholder engagement and effective communication strategies, making sure everybody's on board and everybody's rowing in the same direction is one of the hardest parts of project management. Claude is going to make this a breeze. We're back in Claude, only this time I'm going to create a new project and a project is a really interesting way of using a large language model. It's similar to a custom GPT and open AI, but it, it's a little bit different. So I'm naming this project Unity Festival Comms. We're going to be using this for all of our communication going forward. I just put a little description in there about that. Creating the project now. And in here you will see your chat. But what we want to focus on now is our custom instructions. So I'm opening up this custom instructions and I'm going to add these instructions. I spent a lot of time creating these custom instructions, so I hope you get some good use out of them. I'm just going to read them real quickly. The user will input updates about the Unity Fest and you will craft concise yet information rich emails to each of the stakeholders. You're only going to generate one email per response, starting with the first stakeholder, returning this to the user, asking for tweaks, and you'll continue in this fashion until all stakeholders are accounted for. You're going to customize each message to adjust the unique roles, interests, and concerns of the stakeholders. Here are the stakeholders. So we're going to copy all that in to our instructions, and then I'm copying in some of the stakeholders in this event. So we have the mayor with a little description of her role and concerns. Then we have a local business owner. We have the head of the arts council, active residents, volunteer coordinator, sponsor representative, etc. You get the idea. We're saving those instructions. And now we're just going to craft the initial emails to this group of stakeholders. 
And I'm just copying and pasting in that entire project plan into Claude. It saves that document here. And it's going to start creating individual emails to these specific stakeholders, starting with the mayor, addressing her points, her uh, concerns and interests directly. You can see it's telling her exactly what the mayor may need to know. And then it just asks here, would you like to make any changes to adjustments to this email or should we move on to the next stakeholder? And now we're moving on to the local business owner and how this festival is going to address local businesses. Increased traffic footprint, vendor opportunities, local business promotion, etc. So it'll just continue to work this way. This is a tool that we can now use over and over for any updates to this festival. Uh, we can easily craft, quickly craft these emails to all of the different stakeholders. Pretty awesome. There is a ton in this cheat sheet. This is a 20 page cheat sheet. It is closer to an ebook. And just a reminder, there's a link in the description to this. If you join my Patreon, you get access to this and uh, over 80 others immediately. There's a bunch in here that we're not going to be able to cover. Uh, you know, we're only covering about a tenth of what's in here. But the next section I really want to cover is adaptability. Because as you know, no project goes exactly as planned. So we're going to need to update this project plan based on some changes that are happening. So now we're going to use an example of the fact that we are seeing some negative comments on the festival's Facebook page about the lack of diverse food options. So we're just going to drop this into our original string here that we planned that original project plan, that original WBS. So you want to save that link somewhere because you're going to keep coming back to that. I'm just asking the large language model to help me brainstorm as many diverse approaches to this problem as possible. We're not trying to solve that problem immediately. We're just trying to get some ideas of how we should approach it. Wow, it is giving us a lot of different ideas. A pop-up restaurant concept, a new social media campaign, community cookbook, really cool, food truck rally, a lot of awesome ideas. So I'm going to say option 17 is the best with the following tweaks. Let's make sure to address different diets and cultures. And from there, you may need to update the original project plan, that original WBS. You may need to update your Gantt chart using this prompt, very simple prompt. And then we're going to take this detailed summary of this change and communicate this to our stakeholders so they are informed of what we're doing about this problem. So I'm back in this tool that we've built, the Unity Festival Comms, and this has our uh, instructions with all the stakeholders. And I'm popping in here. I'm just saying, please help me craft emails to the stakeholders about the negative social media sentiment regarding the lack of diverse food options. Here's our plan to address this issue. And I just copied and pasted that plan we came up with. And now starting with the mayor, giving an update about our proactive approach addressing this issue, giving some key points here, really letting her know we are on top of it. I think this is a great email. You might work with the large language model to make it a little more concise. Uh, but I feel like this demonstrates, hey, we're, we're working on this. Now we can move on to the next stakeholder, which is the business person. And there you go. This is an email to uh, any local business owner. And it will then just move through all the different stakeholders, going to the residents, going to the volunteers, etc. So we are just scratching the surface with what these tools can do. And like I said, there are almost 20 pages in this cheat sheet. I hope you got something out of this video. I had a blast making it. I'm really excited about these new Claude features, these projects and these artifacts. Uh, it can be really helpful for project planning and many other things. Like I said, I support this channel through Patreon. So if you're getting something out of these videos, please consider checking that out. There's a link in the description to this cheat sheet and you'll immediately get access to over 80 other cheat sheets by joining my patreon there's some coaching options in there as well we've been having a lot of fun on our tuesday afternoon calls where we brainstorm about how we're all using ai and thanks a ton for watching please subscribe if you haven't already smash that like button and i will see you on the next video make the dream come through, through.